Why India needs Japan's help to build Chandrayaan-5? How this will help in unlocking the secrets of moon together? And is this India's next big leap in terms of space? India's Chandrayaan-3 had made history and now India is aiming higher. Chandrayaan-5 is not just going to be about science, it is going to be about global collaboration and technological leadership which will be shown by India and Japan. Hello everyone, welcome to Vajram and Ravi's Flash News. My name is Shubhangi Singh and today we are going to understand that how Chandrayaan-5 is an example of technological collaboration and global powers coming together to take giant leaps when we are talking about space exploration. So India and Japan have signed a historic pact for Chandrayaan-5 which will be a joint lunar polar exploration mission with ISRO and JAXA. Now this agreement has been signed in Tokyo where our Prime Minister is visiting Japan and later he is going to visit China as well. And this MOU has been signed itself by our Indian Ambassador. Now when we talk about this mission, Chandrayaan-5, the objective is to explore Moon's South Pole and the whole focus will be on finding water, ice and critical lunar resources. And this is going to be built on the legacy of Chandrayaan-3, which had a historic landing in 2003, where our whole country sat together and celebrated the success of Chandrayaan-3, which also gave India an international recognition in lunar exploration. When we are talking about this Chandrayaan-5 mission, the strategic significance with which it comes is the fact that it will enhance India's global space profile, but at the same time, India and Japan will be coming together for the technological cooperation. Furthermore, it will open up avenues for commercial as well as scientific collaboration in science technology, not just for this, these countries, but for the private space as well. When we are talking about contribution, the launch vehicle is going to be JAXA's H324L rocket. And when we are talking about the spacecraft composition, then ISRO is the main entity which is focusing on making the lunar lander and contributing to also other scientific instruments. JAXA will also be helping in developing the rover which will basically operate on the moon's surface after the landing has been done. Apart from this, there are other key instruments involved as well where we will see contribution of European Space Agency and NASA as well where we have mass spectrometer coming from European Space Agency and neutron spectrometer coming from NASA which will help us to understand the composition and also detect subsurface water. This also clearly highlights the technical collaboration that we are seeing where the details are going to be finalized in in-person meetings and there will be encouragement to technological exchange between Indian and Japanese industries and startups as well. Now this finalization will take place in Bangalore in the coming days where the in-person meetings are going to be conducted. Now when we are talking about this mission, it becomes important for us to also understand that what Chandrayaan-5 aims to achieve. Now the aims here are clearly defined, the first one being that we are going to map for locate the lunar water. Now the location will be detected in terms of presence, that what is the distribution, what is the presence of water, what is the abundance of water that is present in terms of water ice, specifically in moon's south pole region. Now when we talk about another factor, it is going to be lunar regolith analysis where we are going to drill the lunar soil and study the water content, the quality and the chemical composition so that we can understand what is the potential of future utilization. Other than that, we are also focusing on in CO2 scientific observation. So basically, the spectrometers will be used and sensors will be used for real time analysis of the lunar surface and this mission will continue for 100 days post launch with the phased operation where we will have landing, where the rover will be deployed and then scientific measurements will be done. The impact of this mission is going to be huge and multidimensional where we are going to see scientific importance coming in because it will give us critical data for understanding lunar resources and also help us to understand that where could future human settlements be? What is the potential in that term? 
Furthermore, there will be technological impact which will not only advance ISRO and JAXA's collaboration, but it will also develop high precision landers, rovers and instruments and it will have a direct impact on the economies as well. Economic and industrial, why? Because it will facilitate a platform which will promote industry startup collaborations and also boost the ecosystem when we are talking about space technology. Now, this is the next big leap that India is taking with Japan in lunar exploration. What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment section. That was all from my side. Thank you so much.